Android custom ROM basics and today we are going to talk about encryption, decryption, disable force encryption and root. So I do have three devices in front of me. This here is the Poco F1 right now running a custom ROM which is your AOSP extended. This here is the Poco F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 whatever you want to call it. This is running stock MIUI 12.5.1 global based on Android 11 and on the extreme right we have the Poco X3 Pro. Again it is running 12.5.1 based on Android 11. So we're going to talk about encryption, decryption and disable force encryption. So for starters if I go into settings and then I go into security here and you will see that this device is not encrypted so the POCO F1 is not encrypted however I do have a screen lock set so if I try to unlock the device I will of course have to enter my screen lock now of course this is not my real pin but yep this is the pin which I have set for demo purposes so again a decrypted device the POCO F3 if I go into settings and password and security and privacy you will see this device right here is encrypted and again i do have a pin set up the pin is still the same so all zeros right and this here is the poco x3 pro and this one is also encrypted password and security and privacy here it is phone is encrypted no pin is set on this one now all of them do have a custom recovery installed so I'm not going to explain you what encryption means what decryption means and what root means feel free use Google find out what those terms mean decrypted device and I do have a pin set and TWRP installed so let me go ahead and turn my device off once the device is turned off I'm going to press and hold volume up and power button till I boot into my custom recovery which is TWRP. So I am booting into TWRP the version which I am using is 3.5.1 if I go into install and go up a level this is the root directory and if I go into SD card this here is my internal storage I can flash anything. I can flash anything any of these files even though I do have a pin set up. So on a decrypted device TWRP or your custom recovery does not require a pin to access your internal storage which means if your phone gets stolen right you have a custom recovery installed decrypted device anyone can go on Google XDA developers telegram channels find the pass reset zip transfer it to your phone using a computer USB OTG whatever flash it and they should be able to bypass the pin on your Android device when they boot into your ROM. Next up this here is the POCO F3. We will try the same thing on this one. So turn the device off and then press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see our recovery. Again this one still has TWRP. So here it is team win in the building and there it is you can see it is asking me for the password if I enter anything wrong it's not going to decrypt it let me go ahead and enter the correct password tap on the check mark there it is you can see it is trying to decrypt using the pin which I provided and now I can access my internal storage but if and only if I provide it with the correct password so my data is still secure nobody will be able to you know flash the pass reset zip on this one so that should clear a few doubts now the next question you will ask me is hey manji then why are we using a decrypted device or why do people youtubers tell you to have a decrypted device so decryption is a choice it is not a necessity most custom roms out there which are built from source which is your aosp roms do support encrypted devices the advantage of having a decrypted device the advantage of having a decrypted device is if you're switching between roms or you are a flashaholic or you have a youtube channel wherein you are flashing roms every hour that is when a decrypted device is helpful because let us say a rom has one type of encryption the other one has another type of encryption you want to switch you'll have to perform a format data or you're going from MIUI vendor to OSS vendor you will need a format data if you have a decrypted device all you need to do is just flash disable force encryption and 
you will not have to perform a format data so that is the advantage of running a decrypted device again it is a choice and which is why the file is named disable force encryption and you have to flash it every time you flash a new rom or update your rom because it is just patching a file in your vendor partition at the time of recording this video it, the file is in the vendor partition so it patches the file and says that the data partition or your internal storage needs to be marked as decrypted that is what disable force encryption does again totally optional most aosp roms support encryption and that is what you should be running now another advantage of having a decrypted device is the demo here the poco x3 pro right this guy is encrypted but because twrp or a custom recovery on this one is still under development so if i boot into my custom recovery which is twrp by pressing and holding again you know the drill power and volume up at the same time this one does have encryption issues on twrp as in twrp is not able to support encryption right now so you're not able to access your internal storage on it so that is another advantage of having a decrypted system that if development or bring up of the device with respect to twrp custom recoveries custom rom is going on then it takes time to figure out the encryption and decrypted devices like good for the developers and all the other things but if you are a normal user running only one custom rom you do not switch between roms a lot then you should of course be running an encrypted device next up how are disable force encryption and root related because i get a lot of questions that hey can i run a device which is not rooted but decrypted heck yeah you can you can also run a device which is encrypted and not rooted somebody decided to combine and this is specifically for the poco f1 somebody decided to combine disable force encryption and magisk into one file why you should know the reason why that was done that was done because on certain xiaomi devices which do include the poco f1 and the poco x3 pro once you flash twrp and if you do not flash magisk then when the first time you boot into miui your custom recovery will be replaced with stock miui recovery which is why you know you need to flash magisk so that your custom recovery is not replaced that is true for the redmi k20 pro as well but not true for the poco f3 so this device right here is not rooted right now and it still has twrp recovery so that is the reason why on stock miui you do need to flash magisk so that your recovery is not replaced but that is not the case with custom roms on a custom rom boot into your custom recovery flash the rom do not flash dfe do not flash magisk and your recovery is going to stick exceptions will always be there i think one of the exceptions for this one was arguar's pixel 5 rom sorry if i pronounced their name incorrectly but their pixel 5 rom did replace the recovery with a stock recovery so exceptions will always be there which is why reading the telegram groups the channels the posts the xda threads is important but again dfe has nothing to do with your root and root has nothing to do with encryption or decryption i hope that did clear out some doubts for some of you and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you and i see you